The electric vehicle maker Tesla is truly an innovator in the automobile industry and it still appears to be exploring other innovative projects for its product lineup for this year and beyond. Among these is a robo-van that's being developed to enable those with disabilities to travel. References to the Tesla's robo-van were reportedly shared by Tesla's chief executive officer, Mr. Elon Musk, during the company's all-hands meeting last night, according to the details provided by some unnamed sources. Tesla's currently the biggest name in the electric vehicle world, having somewhat blazed the trail with all electric vehicles, despite being in the automotive industry for less than three decades, compared to traditional car brands like Toyota, Ford, General Motors, and many, many more. And as such, Tesla has a lot going on, from energy storage systems, solar panels, supercharger network, gigafactories, $25,000 electric vehicle, Tesla Cybertruck and Tesla Roadster. But that is not all. Besides the robovan having a capacity to shuttle large groups of passengers, Mr. Musk reportedly highlighted that the vehicle would be built to address the needs of passengers with mobility challenges. This implies that the Tesla robovan would be designed specifically for easy ingress and egress, offering mobility solutions to passengers with difficulty walking who may face challenges in boarding conventional vehicles. The Tesla Robovan's active air suspension, akin to the one used in the company's upcoming all-electric heavy-duty pickup truck, Tesla Cybertruck, would likely help improve mobility and quality of life of disabled passengers around the world. Such features would make it easier for items such as stair-climbing wheelchairs to be loaded and unloaded from the Robovan, considering that a regular full-size van typically has a capacity of up to 12 passengers, Tesla's upcoming robovan may actually have multiple uses beyond the company's typical customer base. Mr. Musk's stunning startup, the Boring Company for one, is already constructing its loop systems in areas such as Las Vegas. So far, the transport tunnels like Tesla's loop systems utilize EVs such as Tesla Model Y crossover and the Model 3 sedans, which are only capable of faring up to four occupants at a time. Therefore, a robovan with a generous passenger and cargo space would then be quite useful for the boring company, since the van could significantly enhance the loop's capacity. What's interesting is that a robovan for the boring company is not the craziest idea either, as back in 2017, the tunneling startup leaked a teaser image of its proposed people carrier. The concept images depicted a vehicle that bore a common resemblance to a conventional van, but featured some very generous space for lots of cargo and many passengers. While Elon Musk's recent comments about Tesla's robovan may sound new to some, this is not the first time the techno king of Tesla has hinted at a plan to build an electric van. During the fourth quarter 2020 earnings call, Mr. Musk confirmed that Tesla had been planning to build an electric van at some point, but battery cell production bottlenecks have held the company's plans back. The thing to keep in mind is that there is a major constraint on battery cell output, and the main reason we have not accelerated many future Tesla products, Tesla van and the Tesla semi, is that we simply don't have enough cells built. Mr. Musk said while responding to an inquiry from RBC Capital Markets analyst Joseph Spack. Tesla's CEO, however, noted that creating a prototype of an electric van would be fairly easy, but scaling up its production would be extremely hard. Prototypes are easy, scaling production is very hard, Mr. Musk said during the conference. Apart from doing its own battery cell production to accelerate the growth, Mr. Musk revealed that the company had teamed up with cell suppliers and manufacturers like Panasonic and LG in order to boost the number of available battery cells and overcome the shortages in the market. RBC Capital Markets analyst recalled that Tesla's CEO Elon Musk had tweeted back in 2018 about his car company's upcoming collaborations with Mercedes and Daimler to produce an electric sprinter van. Since the tweet's posting, however, few details have been shared on the Tesla's van project.
while the US-based automaker Tesla could be a latecomer to the electric van scene, other EV makers like Mercedes, Ford, e-transit electric cargo van, General Motors, and Rivian have announced their plans to bring electric vans into life, particularly for commercial purposes. Mercedes, for instance, is exploring plans to start the production and deliveries of its all-electric version of Sprinter van as early as in 2023. As for Rivian, Amazon has already a fleet of 10,000 electric vans from the company and it plans to utilize them for delivery purposes starting in 2022. One thing we need to remember is that battery roadblocks are not exclusive to Tesla and many automakers are seeking to enter the EV sphere. However, Tesla has a major advantage over other cars, as the company's CEO is focused on looking for the best methods to make batteries cheaper and easier to manufacture. The company has also set aside more incentives for a robust battery supply chain. Mr. Musk promised at Tesla's Battery Day event last year that the company would start its own lithium mine and develop a 4680 battery pack that would deliver five times the energy density six times the power of a regular battery and add 16% more range per kilowatt hour of energy and an additional 14% increase in range. During the all-hands meeting that Mr. Musk recently held with Tesla's employees, he also confirmed that Tesla would unlock its EV supercharger network to non-Tesla vehicles as early as October this year and it will start in Europe. This comes after the automaker began being pressured to unlock its supercharger network in Germany. According to Germany Federal Minister of Transport, Tesla would enable the development of all current and future EVs if it allowed other automakers to use its superchargers. As for Mr. Musk, Europe would be an excellent place for his company to roll out the program. As per a study published in May this year, EV charging stations increased in correlation to electric vehicle sales in about 29 regions in Europe. The analysis hints at how Tesla's open EV supercharger network could accelerate EV adoption in the future. So far, Tesla boasts over 2,700 EV charging stations globally, with more than 25,000 charging stalls there. Its largest station is in Shanghai, where it can add juice to over 70 Teslas at a go. With the V3 charger, the company has been able to provide the charging speed of 250 kilowatts and a time of a quarter of an hour for 200 miles, all at cheaper rates. As battery electric vehicle sales continue to increase in Europe, so does the need for a well-distributed network EV charging points. And while there are plenty of already open charging networks such as ChargePoint, Blink and EVgo, unlocking the supercharger network to non-Tesla owners could also immediately help alleviate the headache of locating available chargers and reduce the time spent charging EVs. As per the same analysis, Norway would be the best place for Tesla to begin opening its supercharger network to other EV owners, as this could be a powerful marketing tool for Tesla in the country. Norway has the highest market share of electric cars for both stock and sales when the analysis was published. While opening superchargers to other automakers could be a financial boon for Tesla, there is at least one major potential hang-up for this particular program. Charging stations could become congested. In order to overcome this problem, the automaker may play with dynamic pricing. The company could increase the prices if your non-Tesla EV charges at a snail pace, according to Mr. Musk. However, this is great news for Tesla as it could force prospective EV buyers to purchase from Tesla instead of its rivals. This month, the company has also deployed its latest mobile app update, which entailed a new user interface features related to the company's superchargers and direct access to the Tesla shop. According to Mr. Musk, the updated Tesla app helps Tesla owners view their supercharging history and allows them to settle any outstanding supercharging and service balance directly from their smartphones. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.